thanks so much for joining me today. With Valentine's just around the corner, I'm sharing this fun technique that is creating really cute little mini envelopes that have messages on the inside. So you can create your own little mini Valentines. So I'm going to be creating the envelopes with you today and showing you how I paired these with Neat and Tangled's Kitty's Favorite Things stamp set and coordinating dies. I used the stamp set to create some really fun images on the inside of the envelopes and I also decorated the outside as well. These are a bit of an interactive technique so that way you can create really fun and cute little valentines to give to loved ones or for kids to give to their friends. It's really, really fun. I'm going to be using the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. This is actually the 123 punch board, but you can create envelopes with this. So I'm going to start off by taking my punch board and I've trimmed my pattern papers down to be about five and an eighth inch. I'm going to line up the edge of my paper with the line that coordinates with this envelope size. So I've used the guide on the left hand side there to decide what size I need my envelope to be. So I measure the paper down to the size that the guide tells me and then I start off my score and punch lines at the guideline that they recommend for this envelope size. I'm now going ahead and rounding the corners of all of these envelope sides so that way it has a nice finished look. And here we have our envelopes, which are very easy and quick to put together. Now normally if you were going to be actually using this as an envelope, you'd put adhesive down along those smaller flaps and then fold the bottom flap up. However, in this particular case, because we're going to use this as an interactive card, we're not going to end up actually putting this together as a regular envelope. We're going to be taking a card that we're going to be creating just like this and adhering it to the inside so that way when the recipient opens up the envelope, they'll find this really cute little message on the inside. So I need to stamp out the images from the Kitty's Favorite Things stamp set. I'm stamping a total of four of each image because I'm ending up creating a total of five of these cards, but I already created one just as a practice to see how it would end up working out. So I'm stamping all of my banners and little yarn balls and now I'm stamping the kitties onto some panels that are cut to be slightly smaller than the inside area of our envelope. And I've added a little bit of a scalloped edge onto these little pieces using the Simon Says Stamp Scallop Border Dies. I'm stamping onto Canson XL watercolor paper because I'm going to do some Zig Clean Color watercoloring. I'm also adding a little heart into the center of each of these kitties just to give it a little bit more interest and help it feel like a valentine. So I'm not going to show you all the coloring because I colored the kitties pretty similarly. I did add little extra details to each kitten just to give them a little bit of difference between each one. So like in this particular kitty I'm adding brown spots to them. I think it's really really cute. I added shading with a light gray marker on this one around the outside edges of the body just to give it a little bit of dimension. I did very simple shading on all of these images. I also colored in the banners and the hearts and the yarn balls with colors that matched each of the pattern papers that I'm using for these envelopes. So after I colored all of my panels, I'm starting to adhere them down inside of my envelopes. So I'm putting some ATG adhesive on the back side. I'm going to line this up into the center of the envelope. Sorry about my head here. Once I've adhered that down, it's now time to go ahead and add a sentiment. So I'm going to use one of the sentiments that is included in the Kitty's Favorite Things stamp set. This one says, in every way. So when the person gets the envelope, the front will say, practically perfect. And then on the inside, it will say, in every way. So I think this is really cute. It finishes off the card really nicely. So I'm adding foam tape now to the back side of the banners. When I colored all these images, I made sure that the colors coordinated with the colors that I've chosen for my pattern papers. So in this particular case, I'm using the green envelope, which I think is perfect for a masculine valentine. And I made sure that the other colors included on the card were going to be matching up with well with the green, but also had more of a masculine feel. I'm adding the yarn balls with some regular liquid adhesive. So I have a little bit of interest here on the envelope with the banner being popped up and the yarn ball a little bit in the background that here down with some regular adhesive. So here's how the card's going to end up working out. We'll have the envelope sealed up and then you'll have the really cute sentiment on the outside. There's room there on the top to be able to put the person's name. And then of course you'll be able to write a message on the inside. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how I created the little tuck flap that will allow this envelope to be sealed. You could tape this down with washi tape or use other types of methods to seal the envelope, 
but I like having the little slit closure because it allows you to not have to mess up the envelope with some washi tape or anything like that. If you try to peel off the washi tape, the recipient might rip the envelope and it won't look as nice. So I think having something like this slit closure will allow it to be tucked into the envelope and allow it to be tucked closed, but it will still be able to be used for a long time. So I'm making some marks onto my paper where I wanted to create my slit and then I just used a Tim Holtz ruler which has a nice metal edge to it and I used my craft knife to go ahead and cut the slit and now I can just pop the front flap of the envelope into the other flap and it closes up the envelope perfectly. Then of course you open it up on the inside and you can write any messages that you want. To embellish it, I went very simple and I added some Wink of Stella glitter to the heart and a Sakura glaze pen onto the eyes of each of these kittens. And I repeated this same process for all of the cards. So all the cards are put together very much the same way. The only difference is that I use different colors to color in the kittens and I also use different colors on such as the pattern papers and the elements that match up with it. But otherwise the cards are exactly the same. So I hope this is giving you some inspiration on creating some really cute valentines to give to your loved ones or this technique is also easy for kids to recreate so that they can give valentines to their friends and classmates at school. It's a really fun and cute design that features the Neat and Tangled, Kitty's Favorite Things stamp set and the We Are Memory Keepers 123 punch board. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and head on over to my blog to get more inspiration including still pictures and products used. Please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and you can connect with me on social media at Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, as well as my blog. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.